Fuck it. <laughs> Welcome to the new <laughs> Voluntary Virtues Network. <laughs> and we're on. Here. That was a great start. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh, that took a while. Here we are. All right, Steve. This is going to be an extremely <laughs> serious topic, so I think you need to really get into that mindset right now. My name's Steve. I'm here today with the dude. How's it? <laughs> John. Pamela. Hello. Christy. And Mike. Hoy. Tonight I'm drinking and smoking <laughs> because I said I need a bottle and a bowl if we're going to talk about the elections. <laughs> so I'm drinking Torpedo nice. by Sierra Nevada. It's a good IPA. It's solid. I've never drank it and been like, oh, I could get something better. It's always been satisfying, yeah. Rape beer has it at 98, so that's pretty good. That's that's really damn good, actually. And Sierra of Nevada is a solid, mm -hmm. solid brewery. They've that's, been around for a long time. I think they're the first one in San Diego. Are they in San Diego? Oh, I didn't yeah. know they were in San Diego. I thought they were in North wow. for some reason. No, oh. I think they're in I San Diego. Not. I don't think they are. Damn it, am I? I think we would. Dun, dun, dun. dun, dun, dun. Now I'm the asshole. Misinformation. <laughs> Who's got the smartphone? This. Mm -hmm. It's recording at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, 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 after, after we're done, we'll, 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 we'll look it's, up. We'll, it's we'll, just a timer. <laughs> we'll post it. We're we'll, using a real camera. <laughs> we'll, we'll post it as a comment, something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, yeah, so, um, those who are running for elections, if you know who is running, actually, and I don't. Uh, we're, we're, yeah, we're, it's, we're, it's we're like, like well, well, let's, we'll, fill you in. well, let's, let's uh, look at it for a minute. There's Bush and Clinton. So that sounds familiar. I heard Biden's going to be. <laughs> yes, Biden. Yeah. See, I actually heard, and you heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> that it's going to be <laughs> Biden and Trump, and Biden's going to win it over Trump. Really, not even Jeb? Not even Jeb's going to be No, yeah, it's going to be wow. Biden and, good old and Trump. Jim. <laughs> the All Trump. Right. Simpsons, good Simpsons Jim. predicted it. Except Simpsons for Prince, did predict Simpsons it. Simpsons predicted, yeah. predicted that he'd win. But it did not And my it's sources like, yeah. say he's going to lose. Ah. I think it would be hilarious if he won, though. Uh-huh. Because, I mean, just his toupee alone is enough comedy to actually make me want to watch C-SPAN, I think. Well, <laughs> well the, the wig is also tonight a tribute, you know. Is it? Oh, okay. Awesome. All right, all right. So it's hilarious that Trump it wins, so but it's yeah, actually... Thank you. I style it pretty good. You I never would have known. All the air spray to make you choke. We got, we got the makeup lady in here just before we aired, so... Makeup! <laughs> so, Steve, you think it's hilarious if Trump wins, but honestly, it's it's not hilarious. The man is going to be running the country, well, supposedly okay, running but the country. Okay, but listen, if he... Here's the thing. Here's my my two cents on it. <laughs> if not Trump... Two cents. Trump Trump has admitted to paying for politicians. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. he's fed but up and he... at least he's admitting it. <laughs> maybe he's fed up and he's honest, and he's at least admitting it. And he's going to continue to do it? Or if he doesn't continue to do it and be like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to just, I, I don't need the money. I'm going to get this country back together again. And he's a businessman. And he would be Who, able who's to... declared bankruptcy more than once. Yeah, but... And <laughs> presidents are puppets right. anyway. So He'd he's fit right in to the economic <laughs> policy. He could <laughs> turn things around within this fucked up economic policy because he know that's his life he, he, that, 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 that would yes, be the very that could be the very worst thing that could happen you know a, or, a, a valid concern no it could be worse it could be Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders mm. you know or Rick Santorum or Jeb Bush or <laughs> Chris Christie cool. I mean Rand Paul what are you guys thinking on the Rand Paul thing well he fucked up early on he fucked up early on. He was all like, no foreign aid for anybody in his book. You know, like, on paper, it's there. And then a couple months later, I guess he got a check from APAC or something. And it was like, oh, yeah, sure, we have to support Israel. And so, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that pretty much you what can see. He's like, yeah, I think you'll find uh, me a lot more amenable <laughs> to uh, your <laughs> lobby's position than my, in my father's. You know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, so... <laughs> That's the thing, is like... We're having a conversation here, ladies. <laughs> Sorry. 
Do you want to join in on this conversation? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were the only one who couldn't hold it together. <laughs> I wasn't in my pajamas tonight. That's right. Where's you were pajamas? out of context. You're normally there, in your pajamas. Yeah, what, right. What's going well, on here? Because I was actually, this tonight, I, emotionally, this just... I was being the dude. I got a pretty good buzz working up. <laughs> Well, I didn't. I didn't just. I was like, no. And then we did do a little search and rescue up on the back forty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. She said seventy-three pound German Shepherd. But I was thinking it was more closer to hundred. You know. Uh, German Shepherd and cool. dragged them up. Speaking, the of, speaking of German Shepherds, isn't there a cat running? There's a cat running. Oh, yes, there's, there's a, a cat. Running. And and we can't forget about these nuts. Oh, these nuts. I'm I'm all about there these is nuts. a cat running. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. I, that was funny. Oh. And yes. So is that who you guys plan on voting for? Is Deez Nuts? I don't Nuts? Go. I, mean, <laughs> I probably won't vote, but Deez Nuts would be the one that I would choose. But well, Deez has it. a lot Only of experience <laughs> with all of these nuts in America. <laughs> so I mean, just, just, like these that, nuts have you a could, lot You could offer. really like make a button out of that and put that as I mean, trust me, I'm thinking about doing it. This is why I'm saying it. So take my <laughs> idea, somebody, please. Um, you could make a button that just says Deez Nuts 2016 no confidence. You know what I mean? Just like straight up throw out yeah. what that is. Just put a limp penis on yeah, the Yeah, because it's just, yeah. No confidence. It's just uh, done. It's just really done. Nuts. Big pair of nuts, little micro penis. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Is, it's gotten to be such a joke that like, literally, think about that. Even in a small poll, I don't care what the data pool is, it got 9%. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that, that means 9% yeah. of the people heard all the options as told by the person calling them on the phone and when it got to the end I'm guessing probably they're like hey what do you think about these nuts 9% of the people are like fuck it yeah I'm voting for these nuts and hung up you know what I mean like yeah they, that's how much people care was 9% of the population waited till the end they're probably like you know eating their spaghetti or lasagna or something whatever they're having for dinner and you know we're just spacing out and heard these nuts and said fuck it these nuts and hung up you know yeah that's exactly what happened that would be a great message if these nuts really that would be a very good that message would awesome it would mean message. that it's time to throw in the fucking exactly. towel with government yeah. Yeah. and, and yeah. let let something else try yeah. well yeah i mean and then there's there's the whole thing which i mean it might be worth to 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 bring back if anybody could actually stomach you know writing the uh the legislation for it or or god forbid actually talking to legislators you know, bringing back the whole none of the above yeah, option the option on options. on the ballot. You know, that was that was quite a passion of a number of people. So, so the, what they you know should really do? Hold on, is is if so a certain amount of people or the percentage of the population votes none of the above, mm -hmm. then neither each Nothing, candidate, candidate is disqualified. Yeah, yeah, they're disqualified. And they need two more. Yeah, they would need yeah, two more at that point. So you're that. still so you wouldn't yeah. have nothing. You're, you're, so hey, hey, if, if, from a status point of view, I don't want to. Yeah. You know, you know, On the downside, you'd still be start. voting for two different masters. Yeah. Yes, a but bag at the and same a turn time, sandwich. it shows that like <laughs> no, if you have if you have yeah, none of the above, you can vote none of the above. You can vote none of the above, and then nobody gets it. A majority of the population could do that for rounds. And rounds and rounds and rounds. It yeah, could, it yeah. could, you know, and, and just waste millions of dollars. Kind yeah. of like Brewster's millions, right? Doesn't it? Yeah. Movie Brewster's millions. Yes. <laughs> That's that's the one where he he vote he he runs, but he's like, don't vote for don't me. Vote for anybody? Yeah, yeah, don't vote for anybody. Yeah, that was a good movie. That one, that one, hmm. Could that I'll, one I'll have been that made today? <laughs> <laughs> it sure could have. Well, <laughs> well, I'll tell you who I support. I support nobody for 2016. Agreed. And I'll tell you why. Uh, First of all, he won back in the last election, and nobody, nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about it. Yeah, he's he's a real a humble human being. Yeah. Really? Nobody, no, yeah. this is seriously. There is really yeah. somebody. Yeah, yeah, no, nobody's nobody there. won in 2012, and they were just like meh, and they put in Obama. They can't. But really, yeah. nobody won. Yeah. And and nobody the thing about nobody. This is what I really like about nobody. Nobody cares about you. Right. Nobody will keep that his uh, campaign promises. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, know, nobody I, listens will lie to you. you. Nobody's nobody a will very, lie to you. Very, very nobody will person, lie to you. Yeah. Nobody yeah. will ever lie to you. Yeah. No, no, it, nobody, nobody will, will lie. Yeah. To you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, nobody yeah. will. Yeah. 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 Right. So I mean, then that's a a fast switch that's of words, great. but yeah. it's powerful, right? It's yeah. very powerful. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's nobody's gonna do it right anyway. There's that too. I mean, it's uh. 
Does anybody remember the? Uh, I mean, there there's statistics on it somewhere if you want to look into it. Is uh, I mean, a, an incredible amount of people vote for Superman every election for president. And Mickey Mouse and Mickey Popeye. Mickey Mouse, yeah. yeah, Popeye. You know, it's just. I don't remember there being another field where you can fill in the blank. There right isn't. Yeah, there's like a write-in spot. You can just yeah. write as long as you yeah, know that there's always a write-in spot. Yeah. They still haven't yeah. removed that from our field yeah. rights. So. Yeah. Well, except for for California elections. It's, well, California elections, you. Oh man, uh, you know what? I'm not. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not. Gonna, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not gonna even. I'm not. I'm not gonna go into Prop 14 tonight. I can't do it. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I don't vote anymore. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's you. You, they do not count write-in ballots in California anymore. There's still an option to do it, but it is not counted as a, a thing, unless there's like a, like an overwhelming majority. Because only two like people that. can run now. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean that's law in California. <laughs> yeah. General top election two. is two people, and that's it. A yeah. top two primary, yeah. yes, that wow. was Prop 14. Top, that, pro, that, and if yeah. and yeah, if it both it easy for them, and mo, and if both the top two primary yeah. candidates yeah. are yeah. Republicans, yeah. then you have two yeah. Republicans on the you ballot, and that's it. Yeah. Those are your choices. Mm -hmm. That that passed in 2010. Uh, yeah, that it's was the. Uh, in California, it's more likely to be two Democrats, yeah, it's but it's right. usually yeah. the Democrat yeah. and the Republican. It depends on the area, but up in Northern California, it's different. But it seems like the Southern California Democrats are actually over, over San Diego County is yeah. Republican. Is yeah. It? yeah, yeah. The county is um, the city is not. It's the, kind of one of those deals. The uh, rest of Southern California is pretty much Democrat, but oh, really? San Diego County is Republican. Not North County and all that. The North County is actually mo mostly conservative. Mm -hmm. North County, yeah. yeah, like in the valleys. And first hand, stuff. first hand like the, experience. Uh, the North County is all conservative. Yeah. Wine, and wine country, probably. Yeah, yeah. it's still valley. farmers and, and whatnot. Uh, yeah, the the, the uh, Prop 14, uh, like Christy was mentioning, you know, she was saying, well, you know, uh, uh, me and her both at one point being active in the the local Libertarian Party. I. Still am, full disclosure. I'm not embarrassed about it. I actually think it serves a purpose to a point. But, um, you know, uh, yeah, so they passed the whole thing that, so with the, with the primaries, it used to be that you would get one person from each party, and that's how many people you'd have to vote for. That was your slate. But they, uh, they changed it so only the top two vote getters, which is now an open primary, which you still only you still have just the majority of people voting for Republican or Democrat. So whoever the top two vote getters are in that in that pool is, is who you're running for. Like you're saying, so two Republicans, two Democrats, and it uh, it makes it nearly impossible for yeah, a, a, a third party system. candidate to get on the ballot. Openly rigged the system. And the, 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 way, the way they but phrased it was, they yeah. were doing. People the, thought they were doing a good thing by doing this. Of course they this. did. The, yeah, I mean that's the road to hell is always yeah. paved with good intentions, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, it's just Absolutely. an amazing thing the way yeah. they phrased that to make it yeah. sound like it was a good thing and very, you know, they they kept on saying fair, like open, fair right, elections, right. and no, 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 right. this and this <laughs> and that, and it was the exact opposite. Yeah. Well, I think it's funny is it was billed as too many candidates confuses people. Yeah. Yeah. We need just yeah. two. Yeah. <laughs> you can't pick between six. Really, you're only they're essentially saying that the general population is only smart enough yeah. to be pick right. to yeah. between <laughs> A or B, which it really tells you everything about how the government which thinks is, about people. Which is interesting too, because I mean the whole idea of a democratic government is that way though, isn't it? It's like yeah. You're not smart enough yeah, so to rule your own life, yeah. Yeah. but you are smart enough to pick who is yeah. smart enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they somehow they yes. choose smart enough to choose That's, yeah. That's a good yeah. point. I mean, it's know, just they're not smart enough to you know they, they, they keep. Exactly. They're not. So they're so things. not smart oh, enough. Yeah. That you can't speak about it. You know, hence the because you know it's, talking it's, about it's baffling. Um, uh, you know, talking about the the, the twenty sixth election, like it's such a joke. Twenty sixteen. I mean, right, yeah, I mean, more than normal. Like, I mean, it's always kind of been a joke, right? But I mean, isn't more so than normal? It's like so you've got Donald Trump on the Republican side as being like the most popular, I guess. But nobody really knows what he wants to do. But it's pretty accurate. You could just say he's a fascist. That's probably accurate. He likes to Very criticize accurate, yeah. a lot of people. It's, yeah, he it's, likes to. It's say quite entertaining. Rules. Exactly. You know? It's he, funny. he states what the problems is, are, but he doesn't state solutions because he's too busy criticizing 
when he's not stating what the problems are. But so well, I what think about you said something about giving out free bottles of electrolyte. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, let's think. He's about gonna some give out free toothpaste. I heard. <laughs> well, beyond it's a stimulus, part office? of this new stimulus package. <laughs> yeah. No, the but Trump Tower to pay. So beyond who's running for office, who possibly could be elected, what does that mean for us? I think personally, especially those of us who don't vote and participate in the system. Hillary is going to be one of the candidates because even Fox is mentioning her way more than they should be. And Bernie Sanders happens to be a very popular candidate on social media, but is very shunned by local media. And, uh, there's several federal judges that say Hillary Clinton should have been brought up on uh, at charges, least seven to eight yeah. felony charges, but yet she's still most likely going to be the candidate because apparently, according to a new Time magazine article, and dun, this was dun, a dun. very interesting cover. Right. Game of Thrones. Uh. Oh, very, very <laughs> nice. Yes. And uh, that was an interesting discussion about that, and then this appeared. So, you know, uh, so they're talking about Hillary. There's two other candidates, if I find it real quick. There's Bernie Sanders and some other clown on the Democratic side. Um, could take off on it. Uh, no, it's not Kucinich. No, Kucinich no. is actually a respectable Anyways, it doesn't <laughs> really matter. Another <laughs> fucking politician. And right. apparently they're, according to Time Magazine, with these Baffles two fucking me. circus clowns on the front of it. You know, we'll show them again. Uh, that what clowns are they? These Which two circus, circus clowns, clowns is it this year? One of them, I believe, may be a I top and one is a bottom. Oh, okay. Like, Sorry, top right, and bottom. Okay. Push Senior and Clinton, if you can't see it. Buddy, buddy. Yeah, so so um so they're saying he's not a viable. There knows there's no viable candidate. So we must put uh, 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 a a a Clinton or a Bush say, back in yeah, again. Yeah. Uh, That's basically what we're know. up against right now. But I think and it's funny as we got. Was, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was Please. just gonna make a quick joke. Go ahead. Uh, so <laughs> joke we got, away. We got a Bush and Clinton running for president, and. We're going into Iraq again. Oh my! Wait, this, wait, wait! There's a Terminator movie that was and out. And there's yeah, a Terminator, there's movie. Terminator movie that was out. And 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 a Jurassic Park movie. Well, Hi. shit. <laughs> Is this? Are, are we back in the nineties? Is history repeating itself? So my question was, regardless right, yeah. of who is elected, what does that mean for us? Continuation of the misery, but. There's got to be some hidden agenda. Um, you know... That's pre... I, I feel it's predisposition. They already know who's going to be running the country. That's... Well, we can. Yeah. Hibbity, to some hibbity, extent. hibbity, so you don't stop. <laughs> what does that mean for us? <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Yeah. Some of us already realize that, I mean, there's, there's no difference between the, the, the Republican Party and the Democratic no. Party. Except for the so name. So, a lot of us realize we probably haven't put anybody into the... Uh, presidential seat in our own elections in what 60 80 years maybe yeah probably so they're gonna keep doing what they've always done right, right. and what does that mean so what does it mean which is, what, it mean? Which is basically yeah. what are we gonna look forward to in 2000 nothing uh, different everything's just everything's gonna be everything. no we're gonna focus on what we need to exactly create our our world that yeah. we would like to live right. in and, right. exactly. and spreading the message that's what so I the elections okay sorry i shouldn't really use the term anything. us i apologize mm -hmm. What does it mean for the general population, general the population citizens of the United States of America? To have an election? It, it means no, that they have elected. the decision to either wake the f up or to <laughs> continue to pick like all of these circus clowns running around theater and so what do you think, John? guys with wigs or toupees or whatever? From, from, a, from a Russian quote, they'll be able to bark as loud as they like. There's dogs on the porch. They'll be able to bark as loud as they, they can. They'll be fed very well, but their leashes and collars will just be a little bit tighter and a little bit shorter. Yeah. I just think it's time. One That's of them, good. One of them's going to John always has good insight, though. I really want to hear what you have to say about that. Uh, the only thing, and I don't remember your question. Maybe you should rephrase that first. The, what was coming to my mind at that moment was just stop living in fear, right? Mm -hmm. That's an yeah. individual thing that we can all do. And... Uh, from one that watch our last well, episode? Just, and just know <laughs> yeah, it's going right, right, to yeah. right. fall eventually. It's just... How fat? Who's gonna make it go faster? Which one's gonna prolong it? Which one's gonna make it go faster? Well, I guess but so we do. Like that is like Obamacare has been implemented with Obama being in. What I'm saying is, what other type of systems or programs are they going to try to implement to oh, strangle us even further? And this isn't speaking from a place yeah, of fear. This is just the right. place of consciousness. Well, I mean, if you know, well, if you ask 
if you ask Trump, it's damn Mexicans that are causing all yeah. the problems. Right. Right. He yeah. wants yeah. to get rid of the children as well, and he's like, yeah. we'll figure out a way to ship Fences. them out. We'll help them move. Yeah, and they're I mean, gonna, Mexico's going to pay for the fence? What is that all about? <laughs> yeah. It sounds like Mexico Hitler, and, man, extraditing the Jews. Well, that's crazy. To, you know, when, when people start building, like, when they start talking about building a border wall, you know, there, there, there is a spot in my head that says, "Is that to keep them out or to keep us in?" in. Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> exactly. when you're talking about building a wall, like, let's just be real. We live in a world today where there's a city on the, you know, halfway on the other side of the globe that is walled in from the outside. You know, and people cannot leave that city. So, like, that's a, that's a reality. So, when well, nowadays when people start talking about building a wall, it's kind of fucking scary. You know. But just so I let you know. But yeah, so um, yeah, so well, who else is there? There's like Carly Furina. She wants like the NSA to be able to get any information that they want from you. I don't know who that is. She she ran for no, she didn't run for governor of California, but she, yeah, I thought she did. Was no, that was Meg Whitman. But the connection is is that they were both they were both at one point CEOs of Hewlett Packard. Oh, is that the yeah? That's that's where that's where the connection comes in. But yeah, she was saying she's like oh, well, somebody asked her about the NSA during the. Uh, Republican debate, and she was like, "Well, you know, I mean, I think any request that the that you know the NSA asks for, I think, yeah, Apple and Microsoft should just give it to them, yeah, oh, yeah. you know." And you're just kind of like, "Well, wow. oh, holy shit, you know, okay, you know." That's, is she just saying that because she doesn't know what she's talking about, or did she actually like really believe that beforehand? Because wow. sometimes, you know, I mean, I don't want to say that these politicians aren't smart individuals, but sometimes they don't come off as being very, you know, knowledgeable of the situation. They just seem to just kind of react. Real quick. Oh, somebody asked me a question. Uh, my primary voting va- base would probably want to hear this, so I'm going to say NSA all the way, sure, or whatever. You know, like they may not really. Yeah, but she's a businesswoman. I mean, that's. That still doesn't necessarily mean that she knows how to talk exactly. in front of the camera. A lot of politicians yeah, aren't been... even conscious of, of their, their, their narcissism and psychopathy. Oh, yeah. And, and there was, I think it was, I read in The Conscious of an Anarchist, I was the chief of police of the, Le- of the League of the Nation, right? Mm-hmm. And um, he stated 90% of populations like have the traits and qualities of, uh, a population of politicians have the traits and qualities of a psychopath. A psychopath. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? So, and they're very emotional, and they're very... Most of them, I think, are sociopaths. I think the psychopaths are the ones with more power up at the top. Right. You know, because the sociopaths are easy to, you know, they run them in between. You know, they, they, they just think short, short, they think short, short-term goals, and they're kind of like, they're doing their little monkey hustle, but they're still up there at the top. Well, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's about them getting more of what they want, and they're getting off to the idea of having power, whatever the fuck that means. That's, you know, that way, that's... That's such an undefinable term. Well, what the fuck do you mean by power? Are we talking about keeping my lights on, or are we talking about keeping the water coming up to the house? You know, like, mm-hmm. what do you mean by power? It's just something they made up. There's this thing called power, and, you know, they talk about, you know, when, uh, you know, some dictator is, is, you know, extradited from office or, or whatever, that, uh, you know, they'll say... Uh, yeah, you know, now there's a power vacuum. We have to put somebody else in there. A power vacuum? What the fuck is that? Is a power vacuum, is that made by Hoover or is that made by Dyson? How well is it? I mean, is there a guarantee? What the fuck is a power vacuum? It's not real, <laughs> you know? So... The words that make it Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's, the, you know, but it's... But the, 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 the psychopaths, like, to them, it's, it's about making sure that, you know, that they're, I'll tell you that they're a, the center of attention, I'll, right? I'll tell you, you what know? a power vacuum is. We've got, or people have become so brainwashed, and yes, people have been brainwashed. (laughs) (laughs) Steve wrote an article about it, (laughs) politicalcure.com. Ow! See that? Yeah, Yeah. all right. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Yeah. So people have been brainwashed to believe that they need somebody to run their lives. Mm -hmm. And if you remove that person from that controls their life from the equation, they lose their minds because they've never had to run their own life. And so they go running around to find the first person they can find that they can put back in charge of them because they're not comfortable with be- with freedom. And that's what a power vacuum is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. That sounds like a power vacuum. <laughs> Good. 
it's, so, so it's not that anything's actually lacking except for people actually thinking for themselves. Not not a patented device run by electricity. Kind of <laughs> not. Sorry to get so serious on you. No, 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 no. That, that's perfectly fine. I was just, yeah, I mean, I, I, so, I, I asked by, you know, I, I've said that, you know, quite often as a joke. But at the same time, like, it, it's, I'm asking it as a joke, but sometimes I kind of want, like, a serious question, like, a serious answer to it. Of what the fuck is one. that, you know, what are they trying to say when they say that? Because it makes no sense to me. And the only rational sense I can come up with is, like, a, 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 like a vacuum cleaner? Like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking <laughs> about. It doesn't make sense to me. So, like, you know, for, for, you know, and I've had that happen, too, where I've said that, and, like, somebody's responded like that to me. They're like, oh, well, it, it means this. And, it, you know, I'm just like, oh, okay, sure. You know, like, I don't know. Yeah, all right. You know, because it's... It, it's, you know, like I was saying earlier, like power is something that's just made up. It's not a yeah. thing. So when they're saying power vacuum and everybody seems to believe that there is one, then they just need somebody else to fill the vacuum, you know, I, I guess, right? I don't know. It's just, well, shit. We're really enthused about Weird, this. Weird, wild stuff. <laughs> you got the word king right. now. King can't claim himself to be a king unless, of course, he has a military force behind it to prove that he's a king. Yeah. You know, you, but the military force can't just, exist yeah. without a king. Right. <laughs> and the king says he's like, you know, he's been divined to be king by God. That's well, usually that's that, that that's that your that's well. There's two there's two that. ways. It's uh, uh, for a long time it was the divine right of kings. Mm -hmm. You know, oh uh, well. First of all, first it was I am God. Then yeah. it was okay. So I'm not really God, but. God appointed me. <laughs> yeah. And then it was like, okay. Well, God so didn't God really didn't me, appoint me. But the Pope but... said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Well, and it's really not Well, not, not really even the Pope. It's like, it's like, but I have a mandate from the people. Right. And that's the <laughs> And that's the whole that's democracy yeah. angle. It's right. like, okay, we don't have kings appointed by God or, or God kings anymore. But now we have an or uh, a we have the people have chosen us, right. and what people are that? The majority of the people who are old enough to vote and have registered and actually voted. We've got a Bush or Obama. He's when I was in high school or an emperor, right? When I was in high school and Clinton won against Bush. Uh, my teacher, my math teacher, got up on the board and said, okay, this is how many people are in the country. This is how many can vote. This is how many. And he just broke it all the way down. And when you got to the actual number of people who voted for Clinton to win the election, an election that they called a landslide, he had approximately 11% of the population yeah. who actually voted yeah. for him. Sweet. <laughs> that's normal, though. That's and it's, fair. Yeah. And that's a, the a presidential election is higher than other elections. Because for some yeah. reason, so, it's I mean, more important to vote for yeah. who the president gonna, is going to be than your, like, yeah. sheriff, I guess. You know, that's that's how my voice yes. I thought it was kind of funny is that people show up once every four years, <laughs> but then the, the, the guy who has more or less the control of whether or not you get thrown in jail, the sheriff... Like, nobody cares. Right. You know, I mean, for example, we've got in San Diego County, not that I live there, but we've got this guy, um, Bill Gore, who, uh, you know, he presided over the Ruby Ridge massacre, and he's been, really? yeah, and he's been, uh, he's been the sheriff here for twelve years. Wow! Because and and I remember multiple. And elections. he has refused I even. Have no he idea. Has, he has also oh refused God. to hand out CCRs, despite a legal. Uh, injunction against him. What's a CCR? Yeah. Concealed, Concealed carry. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh. So something that women. Well, yeah. I mean, it might be useful for. It might be. Yeah, useful. for or useful for women. To have. Well, especially or, since it's illegal to open carry. No, I wish I could have oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you see, the thing that that I wonder about is, is that you know, if we're going on this line of like, you know, kind of you know, out of the norm people running for office or, 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 or what's the effects of it. It, it makes me think that, if, if, you know, if we had like an android that was running for president and let, let's just say she, you know, 
had a feminine figure. Let's call her a she, sure. Uh, you know. Can you really call a robot a she? I, I guess you can. I mean, yeah, if that's how the is. robot identifies yeah. and has, like, I guess, a, a, a certain That's shape. a good she point. She could call herself Yeah, she, she could call, you know. So at that point, you I'm know, not going to check. <laughs> do you check? Yeah, do you check under the robot skirt? I don't know. But, uh, I would love to check under the robot skirt. Could, could it be I'm like a, a could it be like guy. Mr. Potato Head is like interchangeable well, parts? Yeah, <laughs> that would be <laughs> really <laughs> fun actually. Like parts. But, <laughs> if, <laughs> but if you had, uh, if, you know, if hold you on, had, we're out of time. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Man. Damn. Yeah. Peace out. Well, next week. Bye. This episode brought to you by the word fuck. <laughs>